Well, many businesses have been suffering financially during the COVID-19 pandemic, including one industry that is at the heart of gatherings and celebrations, our restaurants. Talented food photographer Jeff Hegg with Green Frog Photo decided he wasn't going to sit by and watch what happens. He teamed up with local chefs and food industry to put together an e-cookbook as a fundraiser to help laid off restaurant workers. And I think this is just an absolute wonderful idea. What made you want to jump in and help? The food industry is really where I make my bread and butter. And they're not just people that I work with, they're friends. So when I see my friends not working, I think, okay, what can I do to help them out? So my partners and I kind of did some brainstorming and cookbook was obviously what I do. So I thought, let's do that. Let's make it a fundraiser. We'll make it real simple, make it a PDF that people can download. It'll be easy. It'll raise some money. Yeah, I mean, you you are amazingly talented when it comes to taking pictures of food. It's mouth-watering pictures. There's almost 30 recipes in this cookbook. Did you taste them all? Yes, actually I did. <laughs> uh, because I shot it at my house, I was the one doing all the styling. So I made every single recipe. And some of them are recipes for families, and I'm a single guy. So I was sharing with my partners and some of my friends and you know, when you make a meatloaf this big, it's like, uh, I'm never going to eat all of that. Lunch at yeah. my house. Yeah, I just <laughs> sent it to my friends. Nice. I love it. Now, where do the proceeds from the book go? So we're doing a couple of different things. Um, the American Culinary Foundation has a fund set up. So some of the money is going to go to that. And then Sean Colehouse from ACF and from Culinary Cultivations and I came up with an idea where we're going to set something up where restaurant workers can go online, fill out an application, and we'll get we'll work with uh, local rest or local grocery stores and uh, buy gift cards and we'll give them gift cards for those local grocery stores. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. I mean, so, it's in a PDF form right now, but you do intend to come out with a hard copy, right? Yes, uh, I actually I think it's up as of today. Okay. Uh, partnering with one of the entities on the the e-commerce platform. Um, so I just ordered mine this morning. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> I can't wait to see it in print because I'm used to seeing it on the screen and not so much in print. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. So how can our viewers buy the, the e-cookbook right now? If they go to chefsathome.care, C-A-R-E, uh, it's a Shopify site. They can go, click on the button, decide if they want the PDF or the hardcover, go from there. There's also a way to add a tip. So if they want to donate more money, they can do it through adding the tip. I love it. And in addition, so these are local chefs and they're sharing like recipes that they make for their families, right? Absolutely. Uh, Jeremy Paquin from Essence Group, so Bella Vida and Greenwell. Um, he actually shared his pimento cheese recipe, which is an old family tradition because he's from the South. So, you know, that's one of his old family recipes. Oh. Yeah, I really like the fact that it sort of allows you into their lives a little bit more, you know, than just going to the restaurant. You get to actually see and taste and, and see where they're from. So thank you so much, Jeff. Um, if you'd like to buy this book, I put a link to it on our website, 13onyourside.com. Thanks so much, Val.